Hey friends, welcome to our midweek moment. Pastor Nicole here. So glad you clicked on. Well, this week we continued on in our sermon series, Gleanings from Ruth, where we have been taking a look at the Old Testament book of Ruth. And we've kind of been reading through a chapter each weekend and talking about what we're learning there. This weekend we looked at the second chapter and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how God is not kind of front and center in the book of Ruth. So if you maybe have seen these pictures going around Facebook and they just look like a normal picture, but the instructions on the picture say squint and you'll see something different. We'll put one up for you here. And if you just squint a little bit, you can see, oh, this isn't a normal picture. There's something else behind it. Do you see it? This is kind of how the book of Ruth is with God. God isn't front and center. There isn't the voice of God speaking to people. There isn't, um, you know, these kind of overt or very obvious, uh, the hand of God moving. But if we take a minute and just look at it a little different, if we just think, uh, think about things from a different maybe point of view rather than like just the obvious point of view, we can see that God is working. Now, the reason why this is kind of important, I think, is because I think this is how it is in our everyday lives. It's not often that we hear the voice of God or that... Um, you know, we receive some kind of proclamation from an angel, <laughs> right? We read those stories in the Bible and we think, gosh, it must have been so much easier back then. Why can't God just speak to us like that now? And I would say that it's different for us for a variety of reasons, but one, because we have the Holy Spirit with us. God sent us the Holy Spirit uh, during Pentecost and the Holy Spirit has stayed with us ever since. And so if we can tune our spirit into the Holy Spirit, I think we can see that God is working a lot more than maybe we realize. During my time in ministry, I have come to notice that there are just some people who notice God working a little bit more often or a little bit easier than other people. Some people are just kind of in tune to that. They just see or they understand that these coincidences in life are maybe not coincidences, but actually God at work. Other people might have a little bit harder of a time seeing those things, and that's okay. We all have different gifts, and we all use those gifts in different ways. But if you have a hard time kind of seeing God at work, sometimes that means we have to work a little bit harder at it. For some people, it just comes very easy. For other people, you just have to put in a little bit more time and effort, kind of practice <laughs> listening for the voice of God, practice looking for God at work. So I think it can sometimes be like that picture that we looked at. We just glance at it, we see a picture, and we move on. But if we really take the time to look and see, look a little differently, you might remember those um, magic eye pictures that were kind of famous in the 90s where like you kind of had to like cross your eyes and like blur your vision and then like the image popped out at you. It's kind of like that, right? That's how it is with God sometimes. Sometimes we have to stop and like look at it a little bit differently, understand things a little bit differently, process information a little bit differently than we normally do or than we... Um, kind of do on our own. You know, we kind of process information a certain way, all of us differently, but a certain way for us. Sometimes we have to tweak how we process information or how we see things, how we understand things. And sometimes we have to be a little bit more open to things that others might, you know, be a little more skeptical about. So as you're going about your week, I want you to just take some time this weekend and say a prayer, maybe every morning before you get out of bed. God, help me to see you at work this week. God, help me to be in tune with your Holy Spirit. Or God, help me to perceive things how you want me to perceive them, not how I would naturally perceive them. 
those kind of prayers help us to be a little bit more open to seeing God at work. So I just recommend you take some time to do that this week. I'm going to do that this week. You know, there are times when I feel like I can easily see the hand of God at work. And there are times when I'm like, where is the hand of God? <laughs> where is God working? Why can't I see it? Why won't he speak to me? Why is it feel so hidden from me? Sometimes I need other people in my life to remind me that God is at work, to point it out to me, to help me perceive it differently. So maybe you have somebody in your life that can help you do that as well. However we go about it, I hope that we will continue to be more open to seeing God at work, even when it's not obvious and overt, kind of like in the book of Ruth, where we can see, man, God was really doing some cool things in her story. If you want to know what those cool things are and you didn't catch the sermon this weekend, go check it out online. And I hope we will see you this weekend as we continue on with week three, where we are going to find out what happens next to Ruth. And uh, it's an interesting part of the story, so you're not going to want to miss it. Join us in person or online, and we will see you soon. Bye.